exciting and really expanding field because I think the jury's out really in terms of where we can take this and the treatment of kidney cancer where for a long time I think we've known you know we could get good results with um, TKIs but really you know can we push this further um, so a run through now where we are currently in terms of our current treatment options and we know that there are two ways of targeting VEGF so we've got the VEGF TKIs which we know directly inhibit the action of VEGF on the cell surfaces, so examples of which include sunitinib and pazopinib, and we've also got the mTOR inhibitors, which again target the VEGF um, uh, receptor, but via a more um, indirect pathway examples, which we use second line, tantrolemus and everolemus. Um, NICE in the UK has approved sunitinib and pazopinib in the first line setting, um, and obviously we've also got our cancer drugs fund, um, which does allow us um, good access to drugs, which I think, you know, we've, and, and going back to Lee's point, that really, you know, we, we've got more access to drugs than, say, other places in the world. Certainly, Scotland doesn't have the CDF, which does make, you know, getting access to these drugs very difficult. Um, so we've got a choice in both the first and second line setting. So in the first line setting, sunitinib and pazopinib, and in the second line setting, excitinib and avralimus. Um, so, sunitinib versus pisopinib, I'm sorry about this mic, um, in the first line setting. So, COMPAS was the big study which compared um, sunitinib um, versus pisopinib in a total of 1,000 patients. And this looked at progression, response, and survival across the board of these patients. And essentially, there was no difference. It was exactly the same. Um, and we couldn't prove that one drug was better than the other. However, we know that VEGF target therapy is not without its side effect profile. Mucositis, lethargy, um, hand and foot syndrome, and rash tend to be the commonest in diarrhea um, that we see. And really, it was a question of whether or not we could try and improve um, the side effect toxicity and, and really you know, whether one drug was, was better than the other. And so Pisces came about, and this was um, the big study that looked at um, comparing the side effect profile of pisoponib um, versus sunitinib. So this was a double blinded study. So both the patients and the clinicians didn't know the arm to which they were randomized to. And they either had pisoponib to begin with or sunitinib. Um, and following that, they then swapped to get sunitinib if they had pisoponib first or pisoponib if they had had sunitinib first. And we then asked in terms of questionnaires um, which drug um, patients felt better off in terms of side effects. And it was interesting because the majority of people actually preferred being on pisoponib um, as opposed to sunitinib, and about 8% of people really had their preference either way. And when further questions as to why you know, people did prefer pisoponib, you know, no specific reason tended to be given. They just said, you know, I just feel generally better on the pisoponib, um, though they did say that fatigue and the hand and foot syndrome were better. Um, there were, however, issues with Pisces as with all our clinical um, studies. Um, the strengths were obviously that was double-blinded, so we didn't know which drug they were getting. Um, we tended to assess it quite frequently, so two weekly quality life assessments to see how people were getting on with the drug. Um, but the shortcomings were that the drugs were actually only given for two cycles, which people, you know, rightly argue to say, actually, is that enough time for side effects to build up? And actually, is it a fair assessment of, you know, what, you know, um, people are actually experiencing on TKI? And I think that's a very good point. Um, the other point to make was that one drug, pisoponib, was given continuously, whereas sunitinib, as you know, we've got a four-week on, two-week off, and so there was an intermittent break with that.